First thing I want to talk about is Google search plus your world. This is Google's personalized search. So here's, here's, here's something you can do. So we work with a company that competes with Bank of America. And, and I was trying to get them to start using Google Plus. And they're like, well, nobody's there. Tumbleweeds, nobody uses it. I said, okay. I said, none of the top, none of the top eight banks in the country rank on the first page of Google for the word bank fees. And I just use this as an example, right? I added all of them to circles in Google Plus because none of them have any engagement. None of them showed up. Bank of America has some engagement on Google Plus. They are now ranked number seven. Personalized search is gonna change the ranking report, guys. It's no longer just about where you rank because it's gonna change for everybody. So you don't see Bank of America at number eight when you search for the word bank fees, but I do because I added them to my circles. So getting people to add to your circles and finding ways to engage them is a huge way to make sure that you get rankings. Yeah, sure, your ranking report might say 20, but if you connect with your community and connect with people, you will show here and you will get clicks and you will get conversions because it's the first page. Then you've got things like authorship. You can see that I got the like personal results, which is that little head and the little shoulders there. 60% of people that get to my site are logged into Google at the time they do it, which means that's a lot of people with Google Circles potential accounts that I can get to show up for all kinds of things that I otherwise couldn't get to rank. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about abusing authorship. This is crap. Let's not do this, guys. So like authors write content, right? And it's like, it's a gray area, like, well, that's a website and that, that person's the author. That was not the intention of the Google Authorship Project. I have sat with the head person at Google that runs the authorship program, that is not their intention. Trust me, don't do it, because when they come through and sweep, you don't want to get hit. Here's an example. Diane Kahalana from Coupon Cabin. Are you here? I'm about to blow you up, girl. All right, so, um, so think about it. Like, this is a page with a bunch of coupons on it. This is not an article authored by someone. That is the purpose of the project. It is not to be like, I'm gonna shove this person's face up there and hopefully get some more clicks, because I hear that, that I'm gonna get more clicks, because it's actually not always true. Like this doesn't look like a page that's authored, right? So they're looking for, yeah. You can claim the whole blog, and that's fine, because a blog, If you claim the blog, that's okay because you're claiming the blog, right? And hopefully if your blog's homepage has content on it that's authored, then it's cool. The problem is, is when you, this is like a gray area. And I'm not here to talk about the merits. I'm here to tell you that's not what Google wants. In the same way they didn't want you to stuff anchor text and they got that figured out. In the same way they didn't want you to put white text on white backgrounds and they figured that out. They didn't want you to cloak and they figured that out. This is the next one. Avoid the penguin slap. Avoid it. One sec. So people are saying, oh, well, you can get a boost in your click-through rate there, and that's true. But if nobody knows who you are, that little chiclet doesn't mean a whole lot. It doesn't mean anything. It's, oh, I see a face of somebody I don't know. Valuable. No. Um, we're getting a 25 to 30% boost on the articles that we've published. Um, but the reason why is because you've got to be someone who's recognizable, right? That's what's going to make people click on that image. So again, here's another coupon site. I don't, anybody here know Christina Moat? I don't know her, anybody know her? I don't know her, right? So are you more likely to click on that just because she's there? Are you? I don't think so, right? <laughs> how, many, how many of you in here have read something by Rand Fishkin at some point? Are you more likely to click on that result because his face is next to it? There's your answer. That's the difference. Some people get 0% boost and other people get 25, 30% because Rand is recognizable. He speaks, he helps people, he makes video. All of that reinforces when you go to do your searches and you see that little chiclet, it's somebody who you've already learned something from. So therefore you're more likely to click on the things that, they, that, they, that, they're, that they're sharing or that they've promoted because you're like, oh, that person actually shares stuff that I have seen as valuable in the past. So the problem, not the problem here, but Christina should work on like a PR campaign for herself so that when she starts to show up, people start to see her as somebody who helps you get amazing Macy's coupon deals, right? But nobody knows her. So the chiclet doesn't help as much. 